Anthony here, hanging out from Science Ninjas downtown, playing with some dry ice bottle rockets. Heads up! Oh, that soaked my legs. <laughs> okay, first step, fill the bottle with some hot water. Hot water gives it a lot of energy quickly. Uh, I don't want too much, I want like usually about a third. That's a good ratio of water to air. Water does not compress, air does, so you get the optimal amount of compression uh, for the most height. I tried to measure out the dry ice that I was going to use, but uh, it just was, uh, it was tough because it kept sublimating, so like the pre-measured amounts, uh, it didn't work. I'm just going to kind of randomly guess. Uh, I don't want to add too much. I look for the amount of smoke that's coming out, and then I use that as my kind of gauge. All right, cool. Let's plug it. How's it going, man? Ooh. All right. What's up? Oh, we're just playing with science. Dry ice bottle rockets. Most of the time, you gotta pump them. It's not ours. Yeah. It's pretty sweet, huh? Last one for all the peanuts. My name is Anthony, hanging out with Science Ninjas downtown. I want to thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe. You can find us on Twitter, on Facebook, and at scienceninjas.ca.